What's up, everybody? My name's Braskus, and welcome back to the M Mordheim YouTube League. This time it's round three, match number four, and we're going up against Darren and the 33rd of foot. We've managed to win the last two times that we've done this, but as his power level grows, his strategy becomes a lot more dangerous, and I'm getting really worried that this might be the time where he actually manages to pull a win off. So, cheer hard, stick around, and we'll see you in just a minute when the match starts. Okay, so for I'm once I do not get screwed by the deployment. <laughs> Leastways, not completely. We'll see how it goes. Mm. Oh man, this is... Wow. The word sounds all over the place. That is not good. Wow, that really is all over the place. There, up there. Man, that's everywhere. I. Well, I think it's safe to say I'm not going to be completing my optional objective. It's looking that way. That would be quite some feat to do so. Actually, okay, that's accurate. Yeah, actually, that's, that's accurate. <sighs> it's deceptive. I have a hard time judging distance when I'm looking at the map in the overview. So sometimes I'm like, oh man, I just put it too far away, but then it's like, actually, that's, real, that's very close. It's way closer than I think. Yeah. Alright, here we go. Nope, turning off the log. I noticed most players seem to like having the log on. I'm not one of them. I hate I... knowing how little I missed by. <laughs> I, 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 I'm with you there. And I generally prefer not to have it, but I, I usually don't play with it on, but during for the league matches I actually do because I it's kind it's kind of useful to have some of the information, but I'm, I, I would normally, <laughs> I don't really play with it off, but... Yeah, I really hate uh, seeing like a 95% success chance and knowing that I missed it by like two. That, yeah, that's that's never fun. Or, or even worse for me, really, is when you like take a shot with like a 40% chance and miss it by like one. Yeah. That's somehow extra frustrating. Yeah, it, that, that's actually the thing I've I've heard people talk about when they're act, when you're actually rolling dice, and it's that weird feeling of, and it makes a lot more sense in like Mordheim where it's actually percentage based, but with a dot with dice rolling, it's like you know you you, you need you needed a say you needed a ten and you rolled a nine, and it just it's like you're so close, but when you stop and think about it, you're you know that's you're not actually any closer with a nine than a ten, you know. Because the, the if it's a fail, it's a fail regardless of what the roll. Well, unless you're yeah, like, I mean one way or another, it's still a miss. But at the yeah. same time, it definitely does feel that way. Yep. And I and I was and it Ugh. does matter if you're playing something like D and D or anything that has you roll a natural one and bad things happen. Oh yeah, that's that's really no fun. Been there, done that. Don't need to do it. <laughs> Not in more time. I, I saw. I, saw um, I don't remember the name, but it's a fairly famous D and D podcast game that's been going on for quite a while, like several years, and I think it's still going on. I don't remember the name of it. It's it's a fairly famous one. Uh, probably Critical Role. Yeah, I think that's the one. But I, I heard a snippet, and I, and I haven't. I've listened to bits of you know episodes here and there, but I haven't really listened to it consistently. But one of my favorite ones I listened to was a snippet of. And I, I can't remember, the guy was a, I think he was a paladin, and it was, there was a creature, and I don't remember what the creature was, but it hit, it, all the all the party members were almost completely dead. Like, you know, they were really close to everyone. It was about to be a total party wipe, but there was only one enemy left, but it was a pretty beefy enemy, and they had it real close to dead. Um, and they, you know, and the paladin was the last guy to get to go. And it, and he, you know, he he was buffed up pretty nice, so he was gonna kill it if he landed a hit. Um, yeah. And 
he had a uh and so he rolled and he got a natural one but he had a ability and i don't remember what it was that gave it to him i think it was uh a blessing or something from his deity i don't recall the what it was and it may have actually even been uh like a special thing that the dm had given him but again i don't i don't remember the deals but he had it so he got to re-roll and he re-rolled and rolled a natural one again oh <laughs> He act and and his character actually died because of that too. So yeah, that's no yeah. fun. Yeah, and and then you know it's like what are the chances of a double one? Double. Pretty low. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, just doesn't doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what the chances are. It, it's gonna happen eventually. Yeah. To some. And just it's always sucks to be that someone. Also, I noticed that so you have the new, the, the newer, the new DLC. Yes, I do. I am using uh, the, um, oh, whatever he's called. I'm already blanking on the name. Uh, he's a, he's the new caster, right? Yes. Yeah, and, and I actually believe I was, I uh, was saw someone mention. Uh, he seems to function a little differently than normal casters. Yeah, the trick with him is he actually has an increased chance of getting cursed when he casts, but he doesn't ever get hit with the, like, Zinch's Wrath curse. Okay. Um, so he can't ever be smited, or smitten, or however you want to pronounce that. Mm -hmm. um, he only gets hit by area of effect curses, so the idea is to kind of, I guess, try and get him in close and then use his curses to affect everyone around him. I gotcha. So he's so, almost sort of like a, a, a little bit of a kamikaze style. style, yeah. Yeah. That that's interesting. I think that makes a lot of sense with um, the the wolf piece of Ulrich also being, in my opinion, a lot more of a sort of melee caster in a sense. Yeah. Like he's a, he's a lot more about. Yeah, of course. With him, it's he's got a lot of buffs and stuff he can give out in the area that are that are area of effect. So, I, I think so. That's inter you know interesting that they have the theme there for both DLC characters. Yeah. Which uh, oh, I also I also suppose this is the first match either of us will have played. I, I think since the since it's confirmed, which hunters are going to be the new yes, Warband. it is indeed. I'm which, pretty excited about seeing what those are going to do. Yeah, I'm very interested, um, and I'm actually very interested to try them out, uh, kind of seeing how, seeing what ends up happening with the lead, uh, and you know, potential season two or whatnot. I I'm very interested. I would definitely be interested in running with them, possibly. But I do know, so you know, we had been talking about potentially doing some randomized warband, which I think could actually be a lot of fun. Yeah, if I still get a choice, I'll probably keep going with Skaven. But mm -hmm. uh, the Witch Hunters are probably my next most interested one. Yeah, I I'm interested ju just to see how they are, yeah. how they play. Yeah. Partly because they're new and partly because no one expects the Spanish Inquisition. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, and then we also have, of course, the, the question of... Actually, I don't know if you've heard anything about this on the price point for the DLC. Because obviously I'm, I'm expecting it to be a a bit more. Yeah, I mean, it's been pretty moderately priced previously, but I'm, I don't know, probably, yeah. I'm, I'm guessing around 10 bucks, maybe. Mm-hmm. Because they've been giving us, you know, like, four heroes was, I think, what, three bucks if you bought them both together? Yeah, uh, and I think it's basically two bucks if you bought them separately, so, I mean, you add that all up, uh, even, say, say you bought them all, all bought them in the pairs, that's like six bucks. Yeah. For four characters, which, Honestly, to probably for all the work that goes into balancing them and animating them and everything else, that's very yeah. reasonable as far as I'm concerned. So, I'm betting we'll probably see something comparable to that for the new Warband. Mm -hmm. I'd, yeah, some six to ten dollars, I think, would definitely be very fair. And plus, you know, I I'm all for you know dishing out more money because I want more Warbands to be added. Oh yeah, me too. Uh, I don't, I'm sure we've probably talked about this, but I don't remember which warband are are you interested to see get added. Well, I'm just kind of ha anything is a bonus at this point for me because my favorite's mm -hmm. already been added. Oh, okay, yeah. 
Skaven have always been at the top of my list, so... Mm -hmm. Anything at this point is just gravy. Um, but probably, I don't know, Undead would be nice. Uh, orcs and Goblins would be fun. Um... Yeah, if mostly those two, I think, undead and, and orcs and goblins. I, I, I'm, I'm a big fan of the vampire count, so I would love to see undead. I would, and again, I, I think I don't think anyone's really going to complain about orcs and goblins. Like, I, I think they have a lot of potential to be really fun, and just being orcs and goblins, kind of quirky, crazy. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. hmm. So I'm going to completely give up on trying to complete my optimal objectives. Because... Already? <laughs> that was short-lived. Well, I, I, I think it's pretty much going to be impossible for me to gather enough word stone because it's so spread out. Well, I need, like, what, what nine? Ten? Uh, I guess ten? Yeah, I need nine. Hmm. I... Potentially could do it, but we'll see. I I'm still a little bit worried. We'll, well, we'll see how this. Gonna, I'm hunting down a piece right here. We'll see how far away and how long it takes me to get this. Right. Go from there. Yeah, just one second story. Question is, aha. Found you. I assume you're talking to the ward, ward stone. Mm-hmm. Because I certainly don't see any sign of you yet. <laughs> you, you won't see anything. You'll just you'll just hear a twang and then feel a arrow. But you may feel a slight pinching sensation. <laughs> um... oh, I do have some black powder, so you might actually see see a little flash and then or a bang. I'd ex and I'd suspect it'd be a bit more than a pinching sensation. Yeah, probably a little bit. Prepare for a lot of stinging! It's a lot more, because I now have... I now have people who can fire twice. Oh, goody. Get a turn. Yep. Just so, what I need I, to be dealing with. So I actually wanted to ask you, how is this? How are things going? Because I, I know your warband has been screwed over, <laughs> up, down, and repeatedly <laughs> by just the game hates you. So, well, I got a decent number reason. of plus of like rank two guys. Um, okay. I've got one or two rank, I think I've got one or two rank three guys, and my leader is rank four. Um, but we'll still kind of have to see how it all turns out, because, like, um, one of my big Dark Soul guys, he was rank three, died last match. Mm. So, I'm now down one of my, my really big beefy dudes. But we'll just kind of have to see how it goes. But um, at this point, any wordstone that I gather is less important to me for the sake of gathering wordstone and more about uh, just getting access to money mm -hmm. so that I can buy whatever I need to gear them up for that last push to just sort of go out burning or uh, go out kicking. Yeah. Whatever we do, we will not go quietly into that long night. Let's see. Wow. Okay. Well, the game decides I can't go this way, even though... I mean, I, I, I understand it's supposed to be a barricade, but it's got a giant hole in it. Yeah. The size of it. Doomweaver. That's what that guy's called. That was oh, that was driving me nuts. Oh right. <laughs> I, actually, that that just jogged my memory. What do you think? Uh, I, I'm not sure how familiar you are with the tabletop because I'm not 
super familiar with the tabletop. Not at all, like honestly. Um, oh, okay. I so do you know a little bit about Warhammer Fantasy because uh, I was trying Same to here. get into it originally, but A, I don't have enough people to play it, and B, um, really, I just didn't want to pay that kind of money. <laughs> <laughs> so I really like the Skaven, and I have a fairly decent knowledge of them. Um, but I don't really know anything about the Mordheim scenario other than what we've learned from this game. Hello. There you are. I see now, one of you. Now, the question I had was actually what speculating as to the impressive unit for the witch hunters. Ha. Huh. Uh, I have no idea, but I would imagine it's probably going to be something closer to the model of the Sisters of Sigmar, mm -hmm. where I imagine it'll just sort of be an elite unit of the same size, as opposed to, yeah. say, the Ogre or the Chaos or Daemon Spawn or whatever it's called. Yeah, or the Rat Ogre, too, for the Staven. Yeah. Um, yeah, I would. I don't know that much about Witch Hunters, but from my knowledge of fantasy. Uh, and kind of the Empire troops. I would suspect it might be something like a... Uh, and I don't know, maybe these are just one of their henchmen, henchmen units, but they have the flagrance or flagrant, flagellants? I don't, uh, I, flagellant would be the... Yeah, flagellant. Um, and it's the, you know, crazy guys who, like... I, I think they, like, nail like the holy scripture stuff of Sigmar or something. I think they actually like nail it to themselves. I, I don't remember, but it's something, they're pretty crazy. And and then on top of that, they have two giant like maces that they flail around. So, or not maces, um, morning stars or whatever, the flails, that's it, flails. Sounds a little more like maybe a fanatic than a flagellant, but I don't know what Yeah, what actually, the term it, is. it might, it might be the, it might be actually a fanatic, I'm not, I don't remember. I, I don't recall what uh, they're called exactly. But. Flagellation is generally the act of whipping yourself in penance. Right, right. So if they're coming after you with a flail, I would feel that's more fanatical <laughs> than uh, flagellant. But, you know, well, same maybe, idea. Maybe they hit you with one of them and themselves with the other. <laughs> they just take turns. One for you, one for me, one for you, one for me. So I know where approximately three of you are. Come on. Get a little bit closer. Thomas picked in Charles Ewart, and I don't know your leader's name, but... Well, right now we're running with Arthur Wellesley because my main captain is currently incapacitated. He's in the hospital. Ah, so I say. see. So we're running the... I, when you were talking about your the warband and the ranks of your guys, I think if I had my main leader as well as my main youngblood, the youngblood I have is a new recruit. So if I actually had those two guys, I think our warbands would actually be pretty evenly matched. As it is, I, the, my, the current leader I have, I think he's only rank one. Well, he might even be rank zero. He's either rank zero or rank one and, my, and this youngblood's rank zero. But of course my other youngblood and captain are both rank three, I think. And I've also got two of my marksmen are rank two and two of them are rank three. So, so overall, I think we're pretty evenly matched, though. I think numbers wise, you might have a slight advantage, but I think overall rank uh, experience wise, I think mo more of my guys might be ranked uh, up a little bit higher. Yeah. Actually, I don't, I don't recall which my warrior is. I think he's only rank one because I haven't taken him to a full. Actually, he might be. This is this is going to be an interesting fight. I was not expecting it to. I was not expecting the battle line to be drawn this way. I thought it was going to be running more kind of vertically along the map. A new round has started. Way. But is what it is. I'm going to happily bring the fight wherever I feel like. <laughs> Aha! Someone's coming over to say hello. Um. Oh wow! It's, it's kind of a moot point, but I, I actually got a wordstone corruption that 
plus 15 initiative on this guy. But he was going first off pretty. Yeah, a bit of a moot point then, isn't it? Yep. To know. I'm glad I know where he is now. Yeah, we hide behind carts. Come closer. I'm trying to see how close I'm going to have to get to cast, and I don't really want to get shot, but that seems like it's going to be a pretty likely scenario right now. A little closer. What was that? You probably won't like it. Well, I saw I saw a plus and uh, I saw a Positive and negative effect? Is that yes, it does both. <clears throat> okay. Eh, Philly. Makes my line of sights blocked from <laughs> back there. Ugh. Okay. We risk taking a hit and try to just make a more direct route. Nope. Okay then. I'll make do. <laughs> To stand off. It's kind of what it's turned into, yeah. Unfortunately, your range is probably longer than mine. Uh, I hope so. Especially where you have guns. Yep. Oh! That's like Excellent. directly through his left eye. <laughs> <laughs> well, this sucks. for the wart stone, because I actually am in a position to potentially complete the objective. Well, we might go for it, but not with this. Hmm. Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, I do know that all of your guys started to gather around your wagon. So I know that you're not going to be having people... Uh, wow. Two crits. That's brutal. <laughs> Don't mind me. Oy. Yeah, you had a tough time getting it going, but this ranged warband is turning into something really difficult to handle for me. Well, yeah, it it is definitely one that is, like you said, it has it's a very rough start. But once you get to the point, I'm getting, I'm now at the point where, I mean, it's still, I think, certain warbands I still am going to have more trouble with. Uh, I think probably the worst matchup for me is. Potentially Skaven, uh, because they are, have the potential to be very quick and be able to close the gap very quickly. Right. But also, I actually think other human mercenary war bands that are more balanced between ranged and melee actually probably will end up giving me the hardest time. Because since I'm all in on ranged, you know, I can beat them in a ranged fight, but they still have enough range to give me into trouble. And then they also have more melee. So it's kind of a more balanced approach against my setup will you i think will win a, a good chance part of the time like again if you're talking purely just the like the how good they match up sort of you know obviously in individual matches and the, i mean just the dice rolls themselves can will always change the outcome but if you're thinking just purely you know theoret in, theoretically if you're gonna have I think Matt, in other, like, for example, like Braskis and even Smart Trigger, I think I match up the worst against them. That would be me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I, I do think a very ranged heavy focus is probably the best against Chaos, because Chaos has the most limited amount. Well, I guess Skaven have quite a bit of limited range as well, but Chaos, you're also a lot slower than Skaven. Yes, so. yes, we are. <laughs> Dark Souls, I'm looking at you. That's kind of my problem right now. They hit like a tank, but I have to close the gap to do it. And mm -hmm. that's the hard part. A new round has started. And I'm gonna make it... Ah, why does my cart have to be here? Because I'd love to just run away. <laughs> but I don't want you to have my idol. Yep. Well, come and get it. The look at those three dark souls. Those aren't good. Mm -hmm. I don't know where your leader is. Aha! He's in the back. see him running around to the house. Destruction. Good. So actually, actually I, I have to ask, have you had any, like what has been the worst miscast with your, that, that you've had? Because, oh, he took a smite. Right. What well, was it, was it in a particularly bad situation or was it one of the ones where it wasn't Quite so bad. Oh no, it was bad. It was against Game Night. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, yeah. It was about as bad as it could have possibly gone. <laughs> but that that was your that was one of your really bad matches, wasn't it? With the, wasn't that the one that got decent? You had a lot of desync problems. Uh, no, the desync was against Morjax. Oh, okay, that's right. That's right. That's... We've had a, we've had just enough matches that uh, I'm starting to. <laughs> Oh, you can fire two shots as well, I see. Yep, some of them can. Not all of them. Okay. Yeah, only my two guys with bows can. The guys with black powder, obviously. Thanks. Come 
Come on up, Loki. Hi there. Hello. Ooh, I don't know. I'm not even sure what you're doing. <laughs> I'm contemplating take, making a run for your cart because I know this guy could outrun your Dark Souls. Yeah, probably. Or I'm, thinking, or I'm thinking I could, or but the thing is, like, I'm gonna need him in the fight. Yep. But then again, I don't think I can actually. I think if I try and just fight you up straight up, I think I'm gonna lose. Ugh. I don't know. He did a lot of damage last time we took. <laughs> the last time we squared off. Hmm. Well, the problem is that this is not that same guy. That guy is injured. Oh, well, that's a whole different story. Yeah, this is a brand new guy. He's brand new. Almost ran out of time. That would have been exciting. <laughs> what exactly does the chain shot skill do? Uh, it gives me a bonus... Um, on my second shot against the same target. Gotcha. Okay. I kind of wondered that because I'd never really used it, so I didn't know off the top of my head what that one was for. Oh, yeah. It's very handy. Because <laughs> what I do is I can aim the first shot, which gives it a good chance of being able to. And then the chain shot takes care of the second one. Yep, actually, and with this guy in particular, it's actually a 95% with the aim, and then due to the chain shot, it's a 95% uh, even afterwards. Man, those bows are freaking brutal. But wait, there's more. Yeah, here comes the gun, I'm sure. He doesn't get two shots, does he? No. <laughs> yeah, it's like with a black power weapon, I wouldn't think so, but... Nevertheless, I need to be concerned. Because that would be about my luck. Oh dear. There we go. No oh, nose! Yes! No! Thank God! <laughs> oh dear. Now then. I suppose the trick is. Yep. Oh, that is painful. That's exactly what I want it to be. All right, you. Crap. Ah. That is so freaking brutal. Man. Right away. This map is really good for your ranged guys, because there's not really any easy way to approach. Yes, This I map is like 60% flat open spaces. <laughs> yep, I, I really enjoy this one. Mm. I like this one a lot. I'm not, not going to lie. I do not blame you.
Uh, of course. I was hoping that having my other guy there would uh, sort of stop him from being able to get there, but... Apparently not. Going for the black powder. I don't like him. Yep. A new round <laughs> has started. Shocker, I'm sure. Okay. Right. Stop it. <laughs> that doesn't belong to you. Go ahead. Ask me if I care. Um. <laughs> let's see. I forgot. You're. You're. Oh! Hello. Look who's standing right over there. Hi. Hi. Oh man, this is gonna be another close one. Not as close as I'd like it to be if this keeps up, though. That's helpful. Hmm. <laughs> now, this is gonna be risky, but we're gonna have to try it. Yeah, I can live with that. <laughs> I don't like the sounds of I can live with that. <laughs> well, it was just the word light curse, which means you get to know where I am. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, moment of truth. Come on. Yes. Well, I mean, he's always going to stun recover. But he just gets fewer attack points. Yeah. But now you have a choice. Uh, probably go after the archers that are over there behind the cart, or maybe try to prevent the uh, all-alone test that your little black powder guy over there yeah. is going to have to make. <laughs> well, the main problem is this guy has doesn't have enough to make any attack. Oh, well, that's even better. Thank you, stun recovery. Yeah. 45% dodge chance, that's decent. Hmm. <coughs> Ooh, tough call. Still workable. Actually, wait, have I killed both of your heroes? Yes. percent chances to hit. Ouch. It's partly that, and partly also if I come over here, I might be able to keep forcing all alone tests. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I don't really like the choices I'm being forced to make, but I gotta go for them, so...
Well, this is an exciting view. I'm staring at a wall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that that does tend to happen. There's a view that I can at least see. Ow! There we go. That's what I was looking for. <sighs> At least I prevented the double shot from the other guy, given that he had to uh, yeah. disengage. Well, and this guy, actually, as well. Oh, great. But now I've got to deal with that. Ah, oh, crap. I don't like my odds here anymore. Oh, no! Yay! <laughs> okay. Whew, I had one movement left. Well, phooey. Come on. That... Don't... Okay. Ugh. Come on, Frank. Help me out here. Ah. Alright, listen. I know you're new here, but I really need you to do work. Yes! That's not, <laughs> not good. Thank you, Frank. Ah, crap. But he doesn't have to make the test now, either. Crap. Alright. Come on! Just stab him! Wow. Frank's doing some amazing work over there. I, I don't I don't know what exactly is allowing your guy to have a like a making all my stuff sixty six percent chance to hit, but Um some of it might be the missing arm. That really just gives him an increase to his dodge chance though, so I I don't know. I would think that the word light would have made it easier to hit him. Given that he's all, you know, glowy and shiny. Come on. Uh, that wasn't a good chance, but still, I was hoping for something. Well, hello there, Stubert. Horatio. <clears throat> this is this is too close. I don't like it. Agreed. I mean, even if okay. I lose a match, I much prefer to lose. You know, I much. I even prefer it even when I lose, but I know I'm gonna lose. I, I can't stand the ones where it's like I could win, but success or failure is dangling by a thread. Right. How is he doing? Not too great. I really needed my young blood to. <sighs> Nuts. <clears throat> if I'd hit with that, he'd have been dead. Yep. Ooh. Hey, hold on. This guy's moving a little too far for a, for a dog cell. But I don't like it. <laughs> Of course, now, I'm not sure who I need to be dealing with the most. <laughs> not him. No, not him. Gotta start somewhere. Oh, oh no, I can't handle it. Phooey. <laughs> <Fooey. laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is going to be a really close a game. New round has started. Oh, good. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Just you're not dead. That's all I care about. Oh, come on. Oh, no, 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 no. I need you to miss. Come on, Frank. But I can get if I forgo spell casting. Yeah. 
unfortunately, I don't think any of your archers are going to have that many good shots due to this big melee in, in the middle. That's probably how, pretty accurate. I don't know how far how far around you can move your guys to try and get a better angle along the wall. Yeah, I'm not sure either myself. Might still be able to get a couple shots off. <clears throat> Ouch. That was... <laughs> Can't quite tell from the angle, but that did not look comfortable. Well, I mean, I gotta go for something. <laughs> roll high, roll high. Oh. Bummer! That was entirely unhelpful. Um, well. I don't actually think he had anything. <laughs> Objectives updated. Yeah, a token Objective I wanted. Completed. Oh, okay. well, there we go. Unfortunately, now I've got a lot of crap to deal with. <laughs> oh, man. So I have a 68% chance to hit Frank and an 82% chance to hit the other guy. Ow! Yeah, I'm so used to using those, I'm not used to being on the receiving end. Holy crap! Ow! <laughs> Alright, so hopefully the ranged guys will be able to finish him off. I was no bueno! Oh. Well, given that each of them are going to get, what, two shots? I'd say their the chances are pretty good. Now, the trade-off here is that I'm not going to get the benefit of chain shot. I can't aim again, but I'll take it. Oh, I need, it, it, mm. If I can just take, finish off Frank. Yeah, right now I'm giving the odds in your favor. We'll see. Oh. Ah. Down to some, it's definitely coming down to some RNG of just... Why is it that like every it. time I fight with you, I get this painful knot in my stomach by the end of the match? <laughs> I'm with you, right? That I'm with you. Oh, no! <laughs> For Christ's sake! Come on! No! <laughs> no. Uh. I don't wanna! No! no. My morale. Uh. Come on, make the rat check, please. Ugh. For my fallen comrade. Ugh. Come on, make the rat check, just please. Yes! No! <laughs> oh my that god. Way was, too was, freaking <laughs> close. We have to stop doing this. Yeah. Like, next time, we just need to agree up agree ahead of time who's gonna win we just like flip a coin or something just and just i would be okay with that because this is i'm too young to have a heart attack damn it <laughs> i know oh. oh my god i did oh, not man. think i was gonna come out of that but then frank had that miraculous like four hit dodge streak oh that you have no bueno proven right there that is oh. blessings of chaos oh, let's see the damage each victory you turn. render to the shadow Lord impacted Lord. vision Okay. Uh, Bulls' skill is reduced by one on one of my rangers. That's not great, but it's not terrible. Turn and skull fracture. Is he stupid? Yes. <laughs> That's on my warrior, thankfully, so I can just fire him. It's not a big problem. Well, fortunately, nothing serious on any of my important people. Let's um, see. I've got... Nothing on him. Wade is my Doom Weaver. He made a full recovery. Nice progress. So he's completely 100% fine. Um, Orker, my other hero, unfortunately, did receive a chest wound, reducing his toughness by one. But that's okay. The gods are with you. Otis ranked up to four. The gods are with you. And so did Stubert. And Wildrick also made a full recovery. So I had one chest wound, which reduced a guy from six toughness to five, <laughs> and uh, two full recoveries. I can live with that. 
Ugh. Sweet. And I stole your mace. Yeah, I, I know this. <laughs> uh, I was able to sell enough stuff to just scrounge together enough money to pay for all my wound treatments and uh, my upkeep costs. And I have 36 wordstone. That was actually pretty... I was able to gather a decent amount of wordstone. 16. But... Well, good game. Yes. Really, really close. Absolutely. I, uh, I, I For once, at the end of one of these, I'd like to have some fingernails left. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but, man, good game, and re best of luck moving forward, because I, I, I'm really rooting for you, because it, it's, 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 you've been unfairly, you've had an unfair amount of misfortune. Eh, that's okay. I'm having fun, and that's yeah. the important part. Well, guys, there you have it. We managed to pull off a win. It was a lot closer than I would have liked, but we did manage to come out on top. We got some decent wordstone out of it, got a few extra levels, and so we're well equipped to go and get ready for our next match. Thanks, everybody, for watching, and we'll see you guys next week for the next round of the More, to More Time YouTuber League.